students we will start a new chapter that is ray optics and uh, to start with we will start with the definition of reflection and refraction reflection reflection is basically when uh, uh, reflection in light we are talking about is uh, when light uh, traveling in one medium strike a surface when it strikes a surface and it bounces back to the same medium it is called reflection so bouncing back of light into the same medium is called as reflection This means what? <clears throat> this means that suppose I have a surface which is reflecting in nature, like say uh, mirror, plane mirror, and uh, suppose that light incidents like this. This is the incident ray which strikes the surface at a certain point, say this point. Then, if I draw a normal, this is the normal. Normal is a line which is perpendicular to the surface. You see here, it's perpendicular to the surface, and uh, I have drawn this normal here because uh, the ray strikes the surface at this point. So, at this point where the ray strikes the surface, then we will draw a normal. So, this is a normal, and this is an incident ray. This is a reflecting surface, which is in this case is a plane mirror. So, according to the law of reflection, the angle of uh, incidence, suppose this is uh, angle is suppose theta 1 and uh, the angle of refraction the reflection the light will get reflected in this direction it will bounce back to the same medium it will be uh, coming back to the same medium <coughs> so here the what what angle it will uh, come back it will uh, make an angle suppose theta 2 with the normal so the angle is always measured with respect to normal this is the first point the angle is always measured with respect to the normal here the angle is theta 1 with respect to normal, here it is theta 2. On either side, we don't take it positive negative, we always measure the angle with respect to the normal and is always taken as positive. Now, uh, the law of uh, reflection says that the angle of incidence with theta 1 must be equal to angle of reflection that is theta 2, which is always the case. So, this is what is reflection is all about. What is refraction? Refraction is uh, when light uh, traveling in one medium enters another medium. Traveling in one medium it enters another medium of variable uh, density. Okay, so these two mediums should not be identical. So one medium must be different from other medium, and that must be transparent medium, so that light can pass through that medium. So when light uh, from one medium travels traveling in one medium enters another. Uh, medium of uh, optically uh, different medium then uh, the this phenomenon is called as a uh, refraction whether to bend or not depends on the direction of the or the nature of incidence of the uh, incident ray so therefore uh, the refraction is the phenomenon of uh, uh, passing of uh, light from one optically uh, say denser medium to uh, one which is optically rarer medium or from optically rarer medium to uh, another optically denser medium this phenomenon of light passing through two different media or it can be more than that uh, is called as a refraction of light the light may bend or it may not bend uh, that depends on uh, whether the uh, incident uh, ray is a uh, normal uh, to the surface or the oblique the oblique incidence. So, in case of normal incidence, the ray, suppose this is a refracting surface, so refracting surface that will be refraction, this is a transfer medium, this is medium number one, this is medium number two. Here, the light, if strikes normally, falls normally on the surface, then uh, it will go straight without any deviation. So, there is no deviation in this case, but still, it is called refraction of light. 
and uh, in case of public incidents, if it is denser, the refractive index of this milli mu two, refractive index of this milli is mu one. I suppose that the refractive index of second million is greater than the refractive index of first million, so therefore it is a denser, optically denser. So the ray will bend towards the normal like that. So here there is a um, change in direction of the ray of light when uh, light ray enters from one medium to another medium. But here there is no change in direction. So on the basis of change in direction, we cannot define uh, refraction. But uh, uh, normally, in uh, uh, we say that uh, when the light travels from one medium to another medium, there is a change in direction, and this is phenomenon is called uh, refraction. But sometimes the direction might change, or sometimes the direction may not change. But in the, all the cases, the in the two cases here and there, uh, you have always a, a change in the velocity that you will definitely find. Okay. So in that context, if you define refraction, then uh, that will be more uh, precise that uh, whenever there is a change in velocity when light uh, enters from one medium to another medium, this phenomenon is known as refraction of light. Okay. So here, if the velocity is v1, here the velocity is v2, here the velocity is v1. Here the velocity v2 in all these two cases, whether you consider this case or this case, whether you consider the normal incidence or the oblique incidence, in both the cases the velocity is changing and uh, the velocity here doesn't depend on the direction in which the ray is traveling. You should the ray travels like that, straight vertically down and obliquely, in both the cases the speed will remain the same. Here also the speed will remain the same in whatever direction it travels. So there is a change in velocity. This phenomenon is also known as refraction. Okay, then uh, in refraction, this is the uh, angle of incidence and this is the angle of refraction that we know and we also use Snell's law because that is important in this chapter. In the ray optics, we will be using Snell's law and that Snell's law we have already discussed in our refraction of light chapter, but still I just uh, like to write the um, Snell's law uh, for this case. Snell's law says that the mu1 into sine of this angle is always equal to mu2 into sine of this angle. This is Snell's law. Okay, so this is all about the definition of reflection and refraction. So reflection is basically when light travels in one medium after striking the surface, comes back to the same medium. Okay, when it finds some any other medium and like, then it returns back to the same medium. This is reflection, and the refraction is where it will not uh, come back; it will uh, move through the other medium. Uh, then this is called as a uh, refraction of light. Okay, thank you.